Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hi, this is Mike from Tradewinds RV Center. We're going to be doing a walkthrough on your Nobo 19.7. This comes equipped with a 20 pound tank, purged and filled. Brand new battery box, self tap to the frame with a brand new interstate battery installed. We have a docking light in the front, stabilizer jacks in the front and the rear. Plenty of storage. Here's your convenience pack and your hitching. Here is your fresh water fill your city water connection. You've got a set of low point drains. And here is your suburban water heater. This is a six gallon water heater. This is gas and electric. So the electric switch is strictly on the outside. So gas would be on the inside on the monitor panel. Here is your furnace exhaust, your off-road tires, your cable and satellite hookup. 30 amp power plug. Here are your dump valves, gray on the left for your sink and your shower, black on the right strictly for the toilet. Here is your sewer outlet connection. This comes equipped with a outside rent station, a utility shower. This also has a black tank flush option here. So you can hook up to this connection here after you've dumped the black tank and flush the system, clean the tank, walls and sensors. Solar on the side prep. Excess panel for your refrigerator for maintenance. 110 receptacle on the outside. This has a quick connect for a low pressure gas grill. This has a more ride. Step above, solid step. And this comes equipped with a Dometic awning with an adjustable pitch. All you have to do is loosen this dial here, pull in on the arm and tighten it down. The LED strip is inside the awning tube on this one. You have a cargo light. And that about wraps up the outside. You always want to look into our paint protection that we offer here. It's a ceramic coating that goes onto the fiberglass. It adheres and fills any imperfections and leaves a UV protection for five years. If you're interested in something like that, speak to your salesman or our finance manager on day of pickup. You also want to get your bearings checked every 10,000 miles or once a year. And you also want to get that roof inspected as well. Check those seals, make sure there's no dry crack or damage. And you can also use a roof wash and condition yearly and a UV blocker on the seals. Just adds preventative maintenance to the unit. And now we're going to head inside. Heading into the unit here. As soon as you walk in, you'll have your awning control your LED strip, your porch light, and your interior lights. And right here we have your water heater opened up and you have your bypass valve right here on the back side. They are pointed towards the tank because that allows it to fill. So if you turn this valve the opposite way, it will bypass it for winterizing. This unit comes with pleated shades on every window. TV, JBL Bluetooth speaker. This is a 12 volt TV and there is your cable antenna hookup. Make sure when you're not watching TV, you turn that connection off. That drains 12 volt battery power. This has a suburban stove top burner. LED accents controlled by a switch. This has a convection microwave. And 
down here is your converter. This has your 110 breakers and 12 volt fuses. And here's your Dometic refrigerator. So right here, you have your control. So when you turn it on, it goes to auto mode. Auto mode automatically distinguishes where to pick up power from. If you're plugged in through the power cord, it's gonna run off that 110. If you manually unplug that while in auto mode, it automatically defaults to 12 volt and propane gas as a combination to keep that refrigerator running and cooling. Here is your Dometic thermostat. You tap this button here on the side to cycle through the modes. Starting off in the off position here, you'll get your fan speed, auto, high, and low. And then back to auto. You got your AC, cool, and furnace. And then back to the off position. Here's both of your bunks here with lights and 12 volt plugins. Here in the bathroom, you'll find your center flush toilet with your monitor panel for your battery levels and tank levels. You have your water heater on gas and your water pump control. This has a max air fan with four speeds, a nice dual foam shower liner. And that about wraps up the inside.